Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today, via tape delay from the South Union Township Rec Center, we bring the South Union Township Youth in League. I'm Rozak alongside Jerry Dupain. We welcome you aboard for today's indoor youth soccer games. The South Union Township Sports Network is brought to you today as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, well, Armstrong Cable and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay, and we'll be back with the first game after this message. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Esophageal reflux affects 20% of Americans and can lead to heartburn, regurgitation, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Reflux is caused by stomach contents passing a faulty valve and entering the esophagus. Ulcers and precancerous tissue can then form. Offer the latest testing and treatment for reflux disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Kessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. We're back here at the South Union Township Rec Center, ready for youth soccer action today on the South Union Township Sports Network. The, the purple team taking on the black team. It'll be the purple team starting with the ball. And on the front line, you see Peyton Schof and Ellie Mancini on the purple side. A little pressure there from Yorga Holes on the black team, playing it over on the far side, looking to center. Ball deflected back. Purple trying to break their own Tripped up there was Olivia DeBoard, and the ball comes loose out in front. And a save made there by the purple team's keeper. As Ellie Mancini tries to break down the near wall, defending there, Jaden Ruoliva on the black side. The ball played back to the purple goal. We'll play two 15-minute halves here in the 10- and 12-year-old division. As Ellie Mancini tries to spin around Brody Barton. Ellie trying to work her way down there on the near side, cleared back by Ruleva. Our first look here at the new turf at the South Union Township Rec Center, certainly looking good for the 2018 season. As Holes breaks back, crosses out in front, is all the way through and off the near wall. Brody Barton playing it back, a little low shot there from Holes and a purple team on the back line, Ellie Mancini, trying to break out of her own zone. Still scoreless here, just a minute and 15 seconds into our opening match of the night. We'll have three games here in the 10 and 12 year old division for you here today. A little cross out in front. Made there by Peyton Schof in goal for the black team, Anthony Desenzo. On the far side, breaking back, Peyton Schof. 
And a shot out in front, blocked down there by Rule Eva. Cleared back out by Brody Barton. Brandon Dunn from the corner of his own zone for the purple team. Crosses off to Olivia DeBoard. DeBoard out of her own zone. A little through pass going past Ellie Mancini. Mancini an opportunity to get it back, trying to sidestep Rule Eva. Back over to Peyton Schof, who fires off the far post, but sent home by Ellie Mancini. So Ellie Mancini getting the opening goal of the game on the purple side. The purple team leads one to nothing, just over two minutes in. Here's Rule Eva, seeing it all the way down. Holes trying to chase it down, defending there, Olivia DeBoard on the purple side, DeBoard out of her own zone. And played back to Rule Eva. A little chip back on the purple side, forward to Mancini again. Touching back to Brandon Dunn. A little pressure there from Mason Newman. Newman trying to slice between defenders. Schof though defending, coming forward to Mancini again. Ellie Mancini trying to break in. Solid defense there from Brody Barton. A little scrum here at midfield. Holes trying to break back there on the black side. Brandon Dunn defending for the purple team. 11.45 left here in the first half. One to nothing for the purple team over the black team on an Ellie Mancini goal. Mancini on it again right now out of her own zone. Chip forward to Peyton Schof. Mason Newman defending. Schof trying to stay with it. A little check there from Ruleva. Up to Holes. Holes breaking back. Low shot. Off of Brandon Dunn, Holes trying to stay with it. Dunn trying to clear. Ball sent back to the midfield. Here's Mancini trying to set it up again. Mancini. Playing on her back line to a new entry into the game on the purple side. I think that's Alexa Taylor, number six. Just checked into the match. A ball loose here out in front and a diving save from the black team's keeper, Anthony Desenzo. And Desenzo scoops out of his own zone, knocked down there by Taylor, sent into the corner, hard shot on the far side, taken there by Schof. Another save there from Desenzo. And played back to center. Will chip forward from Barton. Taylor again defending. Mancini on the near side, unable to work around Ruleva. Plays it back to the purple nets. Ball now in the far corner. Another little chip there off of Brandon Dunn. Taylor playing it along. Back to Mancini here on the near side. Ellie Mancini trying to work around Brody Barton. Mancini still with it. Touch back to Taylor. Taylor edge of her own zone. Looking there for Peyton Schof. Mason Newman looking to chase it down. Schof trying to come free. Centering out in front. Clear there by Barton. Knocked down on the far side by Holes. Here's Jorga Holes trying to come forward, defending their Mancini. Played along by Taylor, diving effort there from Barton. Barton back to Mason Newman. Newman trying to spin forward back to Barton. Taylor tries to play it along on the purple side. Taylor fires one that goes over the boundary and outs. Anthony Desenzo. We'll put it back down for a black team goal kick. Still one to nothing, purple over the black on an Ellie Mancini goal. Desenzo, a little chip off there to Brody Barton. Knocked down though by Peyton Schof. Look out here, Schof, top of the box. Shot blocked out in front, still loose on the far side. Mancini another chip and finally cleared back to center. Holes plays it low back towards the purple net. Deflected wide here on the near side again to Schof. Peyton Schof trying to track it down. Defending there, Ruleva, but Schof staying with it. Low shot blocked down there by Newman. Ruleva playing it back and all the way back to the purple goal. It's rolled back, intended for Schof, but played by Newman. Schof off a deflection opportunity to get it back. Battling Ruleva was able to keep it alive to Mason Newman. Newman trying to break back, defending there. Brandon Dunn on the purple side. Newman a diving attempt. But Taylor, a little chip back. They're looking again for Peyton Schof off the far boards. And again, chip back to center. Ruleva, another little play there from Mason Newman, who scores to tie the match up at one. 
Mason Newman nodding things up. With 8-11 left here in the first half. Another change on the purple side. Olivia DeBoard back into the match. And Peyton Schoff will get things going. Schoff angles here on the near side. Rule Eva will try to work it out of her own zone. A purple team, a little more depth here today. Black team short a couple of players. Newman another opportunity. Sending it through the crease. Purple team keep her out. There's Ellie Mancini trying to break back. Newman who scored the first goal. Sending it off the near wall. Taylor will chip it up here to Peyton Schof. Schof low shot. The flex back. Ruleva again out of her own zone off the back of Taylor. Ruleva gets it back. Comes free on the far side. Ellie Mancini will try to track it down. But Brody Barton playing out of his own zone. Over to Holes again. Leave it to board there as well on the purple side. As Holes looks to center, battling to board from the far wall. Taylor also there on the purple side. And a good job there by Alexa Taylor to free it up. Really the diving stop, a look out. Here's Mancini on the attack, deflected back to Schof. Schof sends it off on the far side, close on that one. Schof's going to get it back, trying to reload off of Ruleva and deflect it again into the near corner. Where Desenzo plays it back to center, up to Mason Newman. Newman, a little spark plug there on the black side, and Holes, another shot that got deflected. Holes trying to battle Taylor now on the far wall. 6.30 left here in the first half, match tied at one. Deflected back to Ruleva again. Mancini trying to come forward. Schof comes over to help out. Schof and Mancini pretty dangerous on the purple team's front line. We've seen him down here at the rec center for a number of years and another good opportunity there from Schof. Another save made by Anthony Desenzo. Desenzo again firing it back to center. Taylor defending, taking it away there from Jorga Holes. Back up to Peyton Schof. Gets around Mason Newman. Schof coming forward. Plays it off the wall. Gets it back off the deflection. Trying to set that one up. And Rule even able to get a piece of it to play back to Desenzo. Up to Holes. Look out. Here's Holes coming forward. Top of the box. Taylor. Solid defense there again. Taylor again out of her own zone. Playing it off the near wall. Rule Eva going low there to Mason Newman. Newman getting around the board. Crossing out in front. No one home. Off the far wall. On the reset, back to Newman again here on the near side. Holes trying to add the pressure, but the purple team breaking back again. Ellie Mancini on it. Mancini will chip back there to the board set on the near side to Peyton Schof. Schof crosses back to Mancini, setting it up on the offensive side. Mancini with Brody Barton defending. Mancini from the far wall. Touch back to Schof, deflected down again by Rule, even played out of the black zone. Chasing down there is DeBoard, trying to keep it away from Newman, who pressures on. Ball loose now top of the box. Taylor sends it on. Over to Schof here on the near side. Sends it off the wall, looking for a deflection. Barton defends as they battle here on the near side. Schof crosses out in front. Little touch there from Brandon Dunn, but the same from Desenzo again. Out to Jorge Holes. Holes battling Taylor. Scrum on the far wall. Alexa Taylor trying to work it out. Brandon Dunn. Now battling Mason Newman. Newman winning the ball back, spinning forward, trying to get between defenders. Newman trying to stay with it. Peyton Schof there on the purple side. Here's Peyton out of her own zone. Nice diving attempt there from Jaden Ruleva again. Up to Mason Newman, and Newman a first half race, the second goal of the match. So the little guy coming free and scoring his second to put the black team on top, two to ones, even though the black team down on numbers a little bit here today. Getting a solid effort out of Mason Newman on the front line to lead two to one as we go under four minutes left here in the first half. And firing and scoring there on the purple side, Ellie Mancini. So two for Mancini, two for Mason Newman. And the match tied at two with 3.30 left here in the first half. Long opportunity there from Ruleva. Played back to center. Just get it back again. Brody Barton playing it high. 
Got a little name correction here. It's Georgia holes number seven. And again, we just get these rosters about a minute before going on the air, so don't have a lot of time to go over all the names. So if we get any names wrong, again, we apologize ahead of time. The purple team out of their own zone. We go low here on the near side. Down to Ellie Mancini. Battling Rule Eva. The scrum still on. Mancini trying to set it up. Playing it back to Alexa Taylor. A little chip there from the board. There's Georgia Holes. Reflected back to Jaden Rule Eva. Taylor another touch. Forward to Ellie Mancini. On the near side, cleared out by Brody Barton. Up to Mason Newman again. Two already for Newman, looking for the first half hat trick. Going low, Taylor knocking it down on the purple side, sending it down, and a nice little deflection up by Ruleva to prevent a shot on goal there on Anthony Desenzo. They're going to roll to corner here from the far side. Alexa Taylor to take it. Final two minutes of the first half of our first match here in the 10 and 12 year old division. Taylor crosses out in front and actually goes right to Desenzo. He's able to glove it down, but deflect it out in front. Point blank range, Mancini. Desenzo, one save and two saves. They're also making the stop there on Brandon Dunn. Now Newman trying to break back again. Not his head, Dunn trying to spin back. Up to Mancini again. Mancini trying to fight off a couple of defenders. Brody Barton playing it back to center. Georgia Holes trying to track it down. Taylor touching it forward. Mancini battling here on the near wall. Cleared out by Ruleva. Back to Georgia Holes. Here's Holes. Some pretty moves through center and a shot just going wide. Newman trying to chase it down. They're off the rebound. Mason Newman looking for his third. Battling Alexa Taylor. Under a minute now left here in the first half. Match still tied at one. Newman looking to center. Chipped out there by DeBoard, and Taylor again clears the zone. Ruleva battling Mancini here on the near wall. 40 seconds left here in the first half. Scrum continues. Mancini gets it free. Off to Brandon Dunn, but cleared out by Brody Barton. On the backside again, Alexa Taylor down the far wall. Newman defending. Check that, Barton defending. And the cross going right back there to the keeper to Senzo. Knocked down again by Mancini. Pretty move and a shot on goal in for Ellie Mancini. So Mancini the first half hat trick on the purple side. And the purple team taking a 3-2 to two lead. Final five seconds of this first half. Georgia Hole setting it right on goal, but you can't score right off the kick. That one won't count. That'll be the first half. For the purple team leading the black team 3-2. to two. We're back with the second half of the match right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White.
Attorneys at Law. But it's important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Just about ready to start the second half of our first match of three here today on the South Union Township Sports Network. We're in the 10 and 12 year old division. South Union Indoor Soccer, the purple team leading the black team by a score of three to two, Ellie Mancini. A hat trick for the purple side, Mason Newman. Two goals for the black team. The purple team now with Brandon Dunn in goal. No, check that. The uh, yeah, the purple team with Brandon Dunn in goal. A little scrum forward here early on. Braden Kaufman on the purple side played back to Peyton Schof. Olivia DeBoard out of her own zone. Down to Georgia Holes. Black team down a goal. Holes touching far side. Newman. Save made there by Brandon Dunn. There's Braden Kaufman who was in goal in the first half on the purple side, sending it forward to Alexa Taylor. And Georgia Holes breaking back here on the black side. Touched there by Peyton Schof. Holes looking to center. Schof trying to win possession, sending it off to Olivia DeBoard and back into the black team zone. Georgia Holes again down the near wall. Schof defending for the purple team. 13-50 left here in the second half. Still 3-2, to two, the purple team over the black team. Schof, low shots. Cover there. Jaden Rule even now in goal for the black team. Low shot, little chip there from Braden Kaufman just going wide. Anthony Desenzo trying to break out of his own zone. Desenzo played the first half of this match in goal for the black team. Ball now tied up. Black team trying to free it up. There's Mason Newman coming forward, running into Peyton Schof there. Newman going down, Alexa Taylor finding the loose ball. Crossing it off into the corner to Braden Kaufman. Another touch back to Schof. Kaufman and Brody Barton there. Ball crosses on the far side. Desenzo trying to track it down. Taylor there on the purple side. An open space holes, sending it right on goal. Save made there by Brandon Dunn out to Peyton Schof. And the 12.38 left in a regulation time. Schof trying to work her way around Brody Barton. Again, Georgia holes out of her own zone. Touched on there by DeBoard. And that one chipped over and out by Brody Barton. Well, damage done down below there, Jerry. Everybody's clean. It'll be a goal kick for Brandon Dunn. Got to be alert, even with the boards up. As Barton battles Schof. The ball get covered here again by Brandon Dunn. Out to the board, and now Peyton Schof. Schof going down. And Georgia Holes breaking back. Look out, Holes fires and scores. And we're tied at three. Georgia Holes, her first goal of the match. Beating Brandon Dunn. 11-29 now left here in the second half. Alexa Taylor. We're going to put the purple side back up. Taylor from the far side looking across, playing it off the wall, loose out in front and chipped in. That's Braden Kaufman. And the purple team going back on top, four to three in this back and forth game. 
Still a lot of time to play. 11.03 left here in the second half. Now the black team again down a goal. Holes on the near side, losing it there to Kaufman. Kaufman sending it up the field and a diving stop there from Ruleva. And center again. Kaufman plays it down. Over the head of Georgia Holes, who regains and fires, and that ball off the crossbar and in for Georgia Holes. So a pair of second-half goals for Georgia, and we're tied at four. Just keeping it under the bar. I'm going to chip back there from Braden Kaufman. Staying in on the near side off the top of the boards. Mason Newman battling Kaufman. And Peyton Schoaf off a deflection, finding the loose ball. Schoaf back in the black team zone. And Brody Barton will look to play it back. Up to Desenzo. Off to Georgia Holes. Touched along out in front and said high and wide up in our direction. It was caught Jerry's camera. Put it down for another goal kick. 9.39 to play. Our other two games in the 10 and 12 year old division will have the pink team taking on the green team followed by the white team taking on the light blue team. Here's Desenzo looking across here on the black side. Mancini up to Alexa Taylor. Taylor trying to break back, stepping in there. Georgia Holes doing a nice job to get back defensively on the, back, on the black side. Match still tied at four. Taylor looking across off the far wall. Desenzo will break out of his own zone. Going low, played back there to Ellie Mancini, who loses the handle out in front. Look out, and the ball chipped home by Mason Newman. So a hat trick for Newman, getting his third of the match here in the second half. It's a 5-4 lead now for the black team. The purple team led 3-2 at halftime. The black teams outscore the purple team 3-1 to one here in the second half. Georgia Holes, no one home there on that chip. Played out by Alexa Taylor. Taylor battling to Senzo. Taylor going cross field here on the near side, deflecting back. Desenzo there on the black side. Taylor battling, sending it ahead to Ellie Mancini who fires. Goes over the boards and out of play. Should be a goal kick here on the black side for Jaden Ruleva. At 7.55 left here in the second half. A 5-4 to four lead now for the black team over the purple team. Three goals for Mason Newman, two for Georgia Holes. Ellie Mancini, a hat trick for the purple team, and Braden Kaufman also adding a goal. Taylor going down, Desenzo out of the corner, and the ball covered there by Brandon Dunn. Send it off to Taylor, trying to battle Newman, who takes her to the wall. Desenzo tries to help out, and Desenzo breaks the ball free and scores. Now a two-goal cushion. For the black team, Anthony Desenzo. As the black team won the ball. Again, they might be down on numbers here today, but playing hard. The lead now at 6-4 to four for the black team over the purple team. 6.55 left. That one going high from Peyton Schoaf. Goal kick for... Jaden Ruleva made back there to Mason Newman, chipped back by Taylor. And Taylor again out of her own zone. Up to Ellie Mancini. Mancini breaking back and scoring. Now four goals in the match for Ellie Mancini. And the purple team back to within one at 6-5, to five, but still 6-19 left here in regulation. Off the kick, Newman trying to send it high. Mancini knocking it down, got bodied there by Desenzo, trying to stay with it. 
Mancini playing it back to Alexa Taylor, trying to reset, going low. And Georgia Holes finds the loose ball. Holes out of her own zone. On the near side over to Peyton Schof. Stepping in was Brody Barton. Ball breaking free. The board looking for the clear. Sending it forward looking for Schof. But Brody Barton winning it back. Up to Georgia Holes. Holes breaking here on the near side. Holes, some pretty moves. Holes on the cross. Unable to finish. On the back side, Newman trying to track it down. Battling Ellie Mancini, 529 to play. So a 6-5 to five lead for the black team over the purple team. Mancini trying to get out of her own zone. Fighting off the double team. Staying with it. Here's Ellie Mancini with a head of steam. Sending it off the far wall. Shove trying to track it down, but it's Desenzo breaking out. Deflected there off of Taylor. DeBoer to touch. Back to Taylor here on the far wall. Taylor trying to send it down the far side. Got it back off a of deflection in open space there to Ellie Mancini. Mancini from the far corner wall. On the chip back to Schof. Save made out in front from Ruleva. Ball still loose. DeBoer going cross field and wide on the far side. Desenzo trying to work it out of his own zone. Chip back to Alexa Taylor. Taylor getting off the far wall. Schof a deflection. Ruleva the save and the cover. 4.35 to play. Purple team still down a goal. Here's Holes out of her own zone. Getting some fancy dribbling there. A little touch off the far wall again to Newman. Taylor again defending. Newman able to win the ball, but the cover there from Brandon Dunn. Dunn and quickly out to Ellie Mancini. Mancini again fires from midfield. Jaden again on the cover. Back to center. Holes trying to free up the loose ball. Another cover there from Brandon Dunn. Dunn on a little shovel out there to Olivia DeBoard. Defending and healed back there is Barton. Battles the board here on the near wall. Peyton Schof trying to spin off. Schof coming free. Schof out in front. And a nice job there by Anthony Desenzo to cut it off. Deflected back to Mancini. Off of Schof. Still lose top of the box. Those two collide. And Desenzo getting a little help there on the back side to send it back to the purple keeper. Brandon Dunn with 3.36 to play. A one-goal lead on the black side. Mason Newman again trying to track it down. Georgia Holes stepping in. Holes looking to cross, but deflected back to Peyton Schoff. A little open space. Schoff just sends it wide. Deflected back to Mancini, who just misses off the crossbar trying to finish. Rolled a goal kick going off the wall above the boards. 3.09 to play. Still one goal cushion for the black team. Intercepted by Show Fires back and ties the match at six. Peyton Schof. A quick intercept. And the game tying goal with three minutes to play. Good job there by Peyton Schof. So on the purple side, you have four goals from Ellie Mancini, a goal from Braden Kaufman, and a goal from Peyton Schof. And made a goalie change as well on the black side as Anthony Desenzo going back in goal. Desenzo played the first half in goal on the black side. And trying to shore up the defense here in the final two and a half minutes. Peyton Show from her own zone. Going low and forward but cleared back and high. Off a of deflection. Alexa Taylor there. Taylor out of her own zone. Going low looking there for Schoff. Schoff trying to fight off the double team. He also had a change in goal on the purple side as well. Braden Kaufman back in goal. Sends it off to Mancini. Down to Taylor. Back to Mancini again. Off to Peyton Schoff. Barton playing it back to Georgia Holes. 152 to play. Match tied at six. Holes out of her own zone. Look out. Here's Georgia Holes. Down in the near corner. Trying to work around Brandon Dunn. Can't find the cross, but Holes still staying with it. And Schoff on the deflection, sending Ruleva back. 134 to play. Here's Jaden out of her own zone. Ellie Mancini stepping in again, knocking it back. Another touch there from Dunn. This time going over Brandon Dunn's head. Back to Brandon, Braden Kaufman. 
Dunn again trying to chase it down. Georgia Holes there on the black side. Holes going to look at a cross off of deflection. Mason Newman there to the ball go over the line. Doesn't matter because Newman got it back and was able to finish out in front to put the black team up 7-6. to six. Four goals now in the match for Mason Newman. Under a minute to play. And now the purple team needs to press on. Schof sending it off the body there. Ruliva went down. 48 seconds left. Taylor getting it back. Ball hip hopping around. Brandon Dunn trying to knock it down. Mancini trying to track it down. And on the cover, it's Desenzo sending it out on the far side looking for Newman. Taylor defending. And a fun one to watch. 30 seconds left. Peyton Schoff trying to break back, looking for the game tying goal. Here's Schoff coming free, deflected out in front. Schoff staying with it, 20 seconds left. Schoff sending it off the far wall. Back to Mancini, who turns and scores to tie the match at seven. Mancini's fifth of the night. 10 seconds left. Look out, little late magic. And they're just going to let it go. Wasn't touched, so no goal. And we've reached the end of regulation. This match tied at seven. And it looks like we will. Just have a draw at 7-7. No overtime session here for the regular season. So that'll do it for our first of three. An exciting one here in the 10 and 12 year old division as the black and the purple team end up tied at seven. We're back with our second match of the night between the pink and the green team right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. We're ready for our second of three matches here in the 10 and 12 year old division. The green team taking on the pink team. Going to be tough to top the first of the three we saw here. A 7-7 draw between the black team and the purple team as Jason Felitsky will try to break back here on the pink side as the match gets underway. Set on the far wall. Felitsky trying to stay with it and you have Elena Clark and Eric Wadler there on the green side trying to help it out of their own zone. Casey Mahoney also stepping in. Colin Forrestal looking to center. The ball played all the way back down here on the near side as Sarah White plays it here for the pink team. White going cross field on the far side off a deflection back to Colin Forrestal. And scooped up there by Mark Tanner, the keeper. Knocked down again by White. Going through, Novea Nadler. And there's White on the cross, deflected out in front. And sent wide there by Mark Tanner. Good job by the green keeper, Mark Tanner, here in the opening minutes. 
been peppered a couple of times. And the pink keeper, a little cover there. Down to Sarah White. White looking across there for Hannah Phelan. White getting it back again. Low attempt forward, winning it past Forrestal. Here's White and touched, but missing on the attempt there was Hannah Phelan. After getting the feed from White. Oh, so close there. Jason Felitsky playing it on. And in the corner to Colin Forrestal. And green team again trying to break out of their own zone. And cover again by the pink keeper. Battle at midfield between Forrestal and Jason Felitsky. And here's Felitsky. A little low attempt coming forward. Sarah White breaking back. White on the cross, getting the opening goal of the match for the pink side. So Sarah White. Putting the pink team on top, one to nothing. It's two and a half minutes in. The ball going off the near wall. White, a little touch forward there to Colin Forrestal. Into the corner, Zoe Robson and Eric Reed battling. Owen Reed trying to play it back, sent along by Felitsky. And the scrum continues here on the near side. Foresta looking for the cross, played back, and there's Jason Felitsky sending right back towards Mark Tanner. Tanner firing at the length of the field where it's scooped back. A little bit of a miss clear there. Good opportunity on the green side from Eric Reed. Sarah White going low, knocked down by Owen Reed, who chips it back and another cover. 11-11 left here in the first half. Sarah White, who scored the lone goal so far in this match. Out of the far side, trying to cross back. Deflected down. And played on here to Eric Reed, who ties the match. Eric Reed nodding things up here on the green side. So Eric Reed and Sarah White, your two goal scorers. Ten thirty three. Left here in the first half. And Jason Felitsky looking for the ball, but the green team breaking back. Sarah White turning and crossing it off. They're looking for Jason Felitsky. White another touch. Going through Felitsky and the green team battling out of the far side. Casey Mahoney there on the green side. here along the near wall. Chipped out by Felitsky, back to center. Down to Eric Wadler, battling Felitsky. Ball still tied up. Felitsky able to win it free, looking there for Nevaeh Nadler. And a Phelan was also involved, and there's White, another clear back on the pink side. Colin Forrestal trying to win it back. Mahoney playing it along, back to Sarah White. White, some fancy dribbling, trying to go low. Deflected back off of Jason Felitsky. Felitsky looking across. Ball comes loose out in front and cleared back to center. White steps in. White, another chip. Knocked down off of Mahoney and covered again by Mark Tanner. And a nine minutes left here in the first half. A 
White a little chip. Flitsky out of gas. Perestel trying to win it down. Spun back by Eric Wadler. Onto the feet of Cyril White. Sends it off the far boards. Green team tries to spin back. Was knocked down there by Colin Forrestal. Elena Clark and Sarah White battle, number one on each side. A little chip back going wide there. And covered again by the pink keeper. Politsky on the deflection. Good for Hannah Phelan. Eric Wadler trying to win it back. Chipped along there by Felitsky. Green team trying to break back and going down on the play. There's Eric Wadler. Jason Felitsky coming back. Opportunity for Colin Forrestal. Another save made by Mark Tanner. Sarah White from the far side. Ball going back again to the pink team's keeper. Lob back out to Jason Felitsky. Out of the feet of Sarah White. Scrum on the far wall. Here's Drake Schaefer out of his own zone. Casey Mahoney. Battling Hannah Phelan. Sarah White knocks it down. Eric Wadler battling Hannah Phelan on the far side. There's two goals scored so far in this match. Sarah White on the pink side, Eric Reed on the green side. Sarah White again out of her own zone. There's a little chipping here so far, not the end-to-end -end action we saw in the first match, which ended 7-7 between the black team and the purple team. But here's a quick one coming back. And a finish from Eric Reed. That was not ruled in. Reed thought he scored. Now you got to rule no goal, so we stay 1-1. Reed thought he had one. They marked it down as a corner kick. I did too. Sarah White plays out of her own zone. Drake Schaefer trying to chase it down. And Owen Reed trying to come back. Two reeds on the green side. Owen wearing number seven. Eric wearing number four. Owen has it right now looking to cross. Deflected back by Sarah White. Shot there from Elena Clark. Blocked down by White and set into the far side. Ball set off on the far side to Nevaeh Nadler. Eric Reed in open space. Reed getting tripped up. We're down to 416 left here in the first half. Ball going off the body of Sarah White. Forward to Zoe Robson. Hunter Sore here in the corner. And with Owen Reed. Go, 
Hunter Sora sending it off there to Drake Schaefer. Going low on the chase down. Here's Reed out of his own zone. Reflected around and won there by White as Schaefer will try to chase it down. Nevaeh Nadler battling Sarah White. White breaking back. White on the cross. Knocked down out in front, ball still loose. And able to finish there was Drake Schaefer. White from the far side. Trying to work around Darren Dunn. Hunter Sora now will work out of his own zone. A couple of chances here on the green side. Finally cover made out in front with 242. Another one sent right on goal. There's Hunter Sora battling Owen Reed. Reed looking to cross it back. Over to Zoe Robson. And the ball now on the far corner boards. Another deflection out in front from Sarah White. Now the pink team trying to break it back here, Drake Schaefer. One thirty left here in the first half. Drake Schaefer has it on the far wall. Played back to Zoe Robson. Not a 111 left, still match. Tied at one. White trying to break in. And able to generate a shot. Hunter Sora. Trying to work it out of his own zone. Green team though pressing on. The ball loose out in front and sent in. Give the goal there to Casey Mahoney. And it's two to one. And the pink team looking for an equalizer. And the green team pressing back. Scrum along the near wall between Hunter Sora and Eric Wadler. And there's Casey Mahoney. And that'll do it for the first half. Two to one. Your halftime score. The green team over the pink team. We'll have the second half for you in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're gonna be faced with numerous questions concerning who's gonna pay your medical bills, your property damage, the wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days. At Life, 
at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Kessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. We're ready for the second half of our Second of three matches here in the 10 and 12 year old division. The pink team taking on the green team. A two to one lead for the green team over the pink team. Goals by Eric Reed and Casey Mahoney. Sarah White, the lone goal on the pink side. The pink team actually got the scoring going here today on a white goal early on, but the green team coming back with back to back goals to take a two to one lead. Here's White trying to get the equalizer now on the pink side, but Eric Wadler is going to break back here for the green team. Wadler looking across. It's Casey Mahoney. Trying to play it back along. With Owen Reed. Forward here to Mark Tanner was in goal in the first half. Now they're trying to make a difference on the offensive side. Eric Reed again knocking one down. No one reads, sending it back to Sarah White. Touch forward, but no one home. A chip back there from Waddler. It's over the near side to Tanner. Out in front, a little turnaround shot from Eric Reed, deflected down and sent over the boards and out of play. And I'll retrieve it. Some good athleticism out there from the official to go hop over the boards, get the ball back. Now a quick cross went off the head of Reed and or check that head of White and then covered out in front. As Owen Reed tries to work it out of his own zone. Plays it off the near wall. Chip back ahead down to Mark Tanner. Tanner battling Colin Forrestal. And a shot there from Eric Reed. Deflected down. Reed trying to get it back. And Reed now will get the goal. Turnaround score for Eric Reed. His second goal of the match. It's 3 to 1 now. The green team over the pink team as we go under 13 minutes. We'll have to hear in the second half. Some changes now on the green side. Casey Mahoney, Elena Clark, Nevea Nadler, and Owen Reed. Now out there with Darren Dunn in goal. And Dunn tested quickly here. Able to make the cover. Green team up three to one. Pink team trying to break back here with Colin Forrestal. That one going off of Owen Reed over to Nevaeh Nadler. Into the corner, Sarah White. We'll bounce it off over to Owen Reed. And White on it again. Here's Forrestal battling Elena Clark. And the pink defenders tying their shoe out there as we play on. Look out. Well, shot there from 
Casey Mahoney. As a battle continues on the far side. An open space, Colin Forrestal. Goes off the wall. Back over on the far side. And double team comes over there from Elena Clark. And here's Clark, some open space. Centers out in front, that one going through Casey Mahoney. Over on the far side and cleared back to Owen Reed. With 11 minutes left here in the second half. Still three to one. And the green team leading the pink team. Again, the ball crossed out in front. A little scrum along the wall. Mahoney breaking back. Mahoney, a little cross, got deflected and in. And the pink team try to get back defensively. They give the goal to Mahoney. The second of the match. Now four to one and four unanswered in the match on the green side after Sarah White got the scoring started. Again, this is our second of three. We have another match between the white team and the light blue team in the 10 and 12 year old division. And that'll wrap up our three games in this age bracket here today on the South Union Township Sports Network. Cross there from Robson. Knocked down, some back into the corner. Eric Waddler trying to break back out. Here's Waddler. This team now up three, sending all the way back to Sarah White. Little retreats. Go low and through Zoe Robson. Played back by Waddler. Again sent into the corner to Hunter Sora. Sora met there by Eric Reed. Deflected off of Robson. He's going to break back. Waddler stepping in, back to White. And White out again, out of her own zone. Over to Drake Schaefer. Crossed over to Robson. To get the muscle on the shot. Cover there from Darren Dunn. And the scrum at center. Sarah White trying to win it out. Over to Mark Tanner. Trying to create out in front, a little turnaround shot. The boards there from Eric Reed. And deflecting back to center, 8.51. Left in regulation, a four to one lead. For the green team over the pink team. Two from Mahoney, two from Eric Reed. Sarah White, the lone goal scorer on the pink side. Green team looking to go up four. Here's Elena Clark. Double team comes over. Clark doing a good job to stay with it. And finally, losing control there to Drake Schaefer. Schaefer trying to break back. Run stopped there by Eric Wadler. Up to Elena Clark. Clark here on the near side. Sarah White stepping in. Forcing it back to center. Wadler going low. Ball into the corner. Played along there by Owen Reed and covered again by the pink keeper. Little chip back there from Reed, trying to come low. Deflected back again to Elena Clark. 7.52 to play, the lead still three for the green team over the pink team at four to one. Eric Reed was tripped up, we play on. Pink's team, team still down two, looking to make something happen. Schaefer coming forward, a little bit of help there from Zoe Robson, crossing through. Over to Reed, trying to break back on the far side. Into open space, and that's Owen Reed now on it. Owen over to Eric Reed, those two play catch. Eric from the corner, getting around Drake Schaefer. Back to Owen, sending it off the wall. On the follow there, Casey Mahoney, and another one in. And it's five to one now. A little action out in front. And it was finished off by Owen Reed. So it's Owen's first goal of the match. Eric had two earlier. Mahoney with two. 
and the green team cruising at 5-1. to one. With 6.45 left in regulation, the pink team though not done yet. Little chance they're out in front. Zoe Robson. Nat in the pressure, Nevaeh Nadler looking to clear, going crossfield on the far side to Eric Reed. Reed dancing out of his own zone. And to get around Hunter Sora. And Sora able to slow down that run. Nevaeh Nadler coming back. Over to Owen Reed. Loose out in front and set home by Eric Reed. Hat trick now for Eric Reed. It's 6-1. to one. The green team over the pink team. Couple more changes here as we go under six minutes. Left in regulation time. Sarah White trying to send one on there to Colin Forrestal. And the pink team scored first in this match. White got the opening goal, but it's been six unanswered on the green side, or on the pink side, excuse me, on the green side, yes, ever since that opening pink goal. Pink team though not giving up, still playing hard. In the corner, Colin Forrestal. Playing it back to the edge of the zone to Sarah White, who fires one off the near boards. Forrestal went down. We play on as Eric Wadler breaks back. Wadler met there by Sarah White. White again out of her own zone, going low. Chipped back by Mark Tanner. Off the near wall over to Eric Wadler, who sends one low on goal. As we go under five minutes now left here in the second half. Jason Felitsky on the far side, battling Nevaeh Nadler. Yeah, those two play catch. Felitsky breaks back. Tries to send one wide, deflect it out in front, and finally cover there by the green keeper, Darren Dunn. Dunn has yet to yield a goal since he came in to start the second half. Mark Tanner played the first half in net on the green side, just yielded one goal. And the ball tied up in the corner. On the pink side, and a Phelan. Then a cross field on the near side. Colin Forrestal will run it down. Defending there, Elena Clark. 4-12 now left in regulation. Pink side sending it back along. Off to Tanner. Forward to Waddler. Up to Clark. And deflected loose out in front. A little helter-skelter there. Off another deflection. Diving save on an Avea Nadler shot. The pink side finally able to clear it back. Over to Hannah Phelan. 3.42 to play. Six to one. Green team over the pink team. And that one just going wide. Another nice effort there from Sarah White. White's done a nice job to get involved in the play throughout the course of the match for the pink team as Eric Wadler tries to break out of his own zone. Again going into the corner, battling White. Wadler and White still going at it. And White will turn and clear. A little double team put on here on Tanner. And Mark sends it out to Nevaeh Nadler on the far side. Pressured on by Jason Felitsky with 2.56 to play. Felitsky looking for the cross. Still 6-1 to one in favor of the green team over the pink team. And there's a shot and a finish out in front. The pink team gets their second of the match. Colin Forrestal. And Colin Forrestal giving the pink team their second goal of the match. Now six to two. And 2.25 left in regulation. An open space, Nadler. Pressure there from Robson. And the ball loose out in front. And there's another one on the pink side. Sarah White getting her second. A little late heroics here for the pink team. Back to within three now at six to three as we go under two minutes now left in regulation. See what happens here for the final two minutes, trying to make this one interesting. It's a five goal cushion 
on the green side just about two minutes ago. In the corner, Schaefer trying to get out of his own zone. A little pressure there from Elena Clark. Here's Felitsky trying to break back. Jason Felitsky back through center. Nevaeh Nadler defending. Felitsky looking to cross. The ball deflecting all around out in front. And finally, cover there by Darren Dunn. Sent out to Casey Mahoney. 120 to play. Mahoney. And a little scrum on the far side. Played back to Mark Tanner. Tanner sending it off to Nevaeh Nadler. As we go under a minute left here in the second half, six to three. The green team with three goals from Eric Reed, two from Casey Mahoney, and one from Owen Reed. Sarah White, two goals on the pink side. Colin Forrest also added a goal for the pink team. That's where we're at right now at six to three. 42 seconds left here in the second half. Mark Tanner from his own zone. Playing it forward, looking for Casey Mahoney. Elena Clark has a title on the wall. And over to Mahoney, who's there with the double team. Pink team breaking back. White again on the cross, deflected, and there's their fourth of the game. Scored by Zoe Robson. To be a little too little too late. Goal coming here in the final 15 seconds, but the pink team certainly a nice rally back to make this one close at 6-4. to four. And that'll be your final score, the green team over the pink team. They're in our second of three. They're on the South Union Township Sports Network. We're back with our final game between the white team and the light blue team right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Just sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you'll take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so he turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, just give them a call. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. We're ready for our third of three games here in the 10 through 12 year old division. The white team taking on the light blue team. The white team starting with the ball, Carson Scott. Battling on the far side and Carson trying to come free, feeding it off to Madison McLean who sends it home for the opening goal of the match. So just like that, Madison McLean getting the opening goal for the white team. Just under 30 seconds in. The white team taking a one to nothing lead over the light blue team. 
And it's our third of three in the 10 through 12 year old division. As Madison McLean tries to play it back to center, a little deflection there from Elena Daniels. Ball fired off the near boards. The scrum continues along the wall. In goal on the white side, number six, Tanner Brusda. And the blue keeper coming all the way out. And the blue keeper, number seven, Caleb Dehaven. And quite a chase down there. Now clear out from Tanner Brusda. White team's Carson Scott trying to break it free. And Madison McLean, the opening goal of this match. And our third of three in the 10 through 12 year old division had a 7-7 draw between the black and the purple team and then a 6-4 green team win over the pink team. And McLean again on the far side trying to center for Scott who wasn't there yet. And Jason Cook Jr. Breaking back for the light blue team, sending a low shot on goal. And Tanner Brusda, the white goalie, will roll it out on the far side, looking there for Scott. Scott with three light blue players around him. And Carson battling down the wall. Cook knocks it down. Ball still loose out in front and cleared back by Tanner Brosda. And Tanner quickly gets it back again. Two and a half minutes into this match, a one to nothing lead for the white team over the light blue team. Out of the corner, Scott trying to break back. Look out, here's Carson Scott on the break, has McLean on the back door, but it went off of one of the defenders, Luke Fetzer into the nets. So credit the goal for Carson Scott. Using the defender to his advantage to increase the lead at two to nothing for the white team over the light blue team. A couple of changes now here on the light blue side. Madison McLean. Battling Allison Novak. McLean sending it over to Carson Scott again. Dehaven out. Scott stepping over. And a battle here on the near side. A light blue team. Nice little cross and a goal. Ring it up for Alexa Taylor. And Taylor actually played for the purple team earlier on in the first match for the light blue team, short on players. So Taylor getting an opportunity to do the double here today and comes through with a goal to give the light blue team their first goal of the match. It's two to one. 10.30 left here in the first half. There's Caleb Dehaven. Playing it back to center. Knocked down by Scott. Look out. Scott fires and Dehaven. Nice save there. And Caleb sending it up to Luke Fetzer. Back to Taylor. On the chip down out in front. Ball comes loose top of the box. And the save made. By Tanner Brusda. Brusda back to McLean. Blue defender diving down. McLean, though, spins back, fires on goal, and scooped up there again by Caleb Dehaven. Off on the far side, Allison Novak there. Novak trying to get around Madison McLean. Novak on the scrum. Ball comes loose after a little juggle. Brusda, the nice little scoop up there, robbing Luke Fetzer. Dehaven to get back on the other side. Scott trying to chase it down. 
And the blue team will break back again. A little low pass for McLean, knocks it down. Body down there by Jacob Poling. And Poling out of his own zone. With Scott around. The ball again scooped up there by Brusda. And Tanner now will put it down and lob it on the far side. Madison McLean will try to track it down. Madison looking for the cross. And Taylor finds the loose ball there for the light blue team. Again back to Taylor. An opportunity to reload. But going through the crease. As Allison Novak unable to take advantage. Taylor another touchdown. Novak out in front. Look out and a poke in by Allison Novak. So Novak and Taylor, a couple of goals for the light blue Warriors, the white team, with the goals from Scott and McLean who are knotted up at two. Here at the 815 mark of the first. And Alexa Taylor, another opportunity. Firing another one on. And we're getting some other subs coming in. Madison Schof. I check that Peyton Schof. And Peyton's. And they're on the white team. So I guess both of these teams a little short. Using some players from earlier matches here today. Another cross out in front there from Taylor looking for Schof. Schof battling Allison Novak. Scrum along the near wall and another cover. Nay there by Tanner Brusda. Knocked down by Eva Miller. Up to Peyton Schof. Schof still with her purple uniform on. But Taylor, an opportunity coming back. Another cover there from Brusda. Sending it out to Carson Scott. Scott over looking for Schof. Going through Peyton. Now Schof again will try to reload. Crossing it back, looking there for Scott. Heels it back to Peyton. Looking for Scott again, after one off of a defender, Luke Fetzer. Scott crosses back, Schof trying to finish. And a great diving save there from Caleb Dehaven. Leading the run back up. No attempt there from Allison Novak, deflected into the corner. Alexa Taylor resets. Then back line again, over to Luke Fetzer. And again, covered up out in front by Tanner Brunsda. All pinballs back through center. The light blue team, another chance here from Allison Novak. And Brunsda diving all over the place, getting the cover. 5.50 left here in the first half. Brunsda sitting down the far side. Taylor, another touch, deflecting out in front. Trying to circle back here, Allison Novak over to Taylor again. Taylor's shot got blocked down out in front. Well defended there by Madison McLean. Taylor, another opportunity going low. Another scoop back up from Tanner Brusda. Back up to Peyton Schof. Peyton playing it off the wall. Caleb Scott, or Caleb Dehaven, excuse me, coming out. Knocking it back down. Ball going off of Melania Daniels. In the corner again to Taylor. Covered again by Brusda. Brusda lobs back to Schof. Not deflected there by Allison Novak. Into open space to Jason Cook. Shove trying to come back alive. Cook another chip. 4.47 left here in the first half. Here's Alexa Taylor again crossing and fanning out in front there. Allison Novak on a good scoring opportunity. Again, a couple of chances out in front. And Novak unable to finish. Here's Carson Scott again down on the far side. 
Carson from the far corner. Spinning back there is Luke Fetzer. Forward to Allison Novak. Novak out of the far corner. Can't get any help. Shelf breaking back with Scott. Scott here on the near side. Fires off the wall. Ball deflects back. And Fetzer doing a nice job to deflect it back. Shelf trying to reload. Send it over to McLean who fans there on the far side. Dehaven out playing it off the far wall back to center. For Allison Novak will try to break back. But Peyton Shelf steps in. Peyton Shelf. Edge of the light blue zone. Shelf trying to stay with it. Nice run down the far side. Meeting Jason Cook Jr. there looking across. And Caleb Dehaven there able to spin it back out to center. Looking again for Allison Novak. Played back on the other side by Madison McLean. Again, Dehaven trying to send it out. Scott knocks it down. Shelf comes over. Dehaven though steps in on the clear. Back to Taylor. Poke ahead to Novak. Novak out in front near the near post. And the cover again there from Brusda. With 3.18 left here in the first half. Brusda from his own zone. Over the match official off the back wall. Not to Luke Fetzer. Fetzer another chip through Schof up to Taylor. Novak a touch. Novak spins back, fires off the wall. Ball still loose, but Schof finds it back for the white team. Up to Scott. Back to Schof and the give and go. Schof on the finish. Scott the assist. Some pretty moves coming back there. And Schof with the goal. Her first of the match. It's 3-2 to two now. The white team over the light blue team with 2.37 left here in the first half. Light blue team making another change as Marcus Cooper will enter the match. Well, set on the back line for the light blue squad. Ball again in the corner. Eva Miller out of the corner. We're trying to break back. Now we'll have a free kick here for Allison Novak. Novak goes low. McLean knocks it down. Novak trying to get it back. Novak, nice little sidestep. Crossing here on the near side over to Jason Cook. Cook from the near wall, battling Carson Scott. Cook trying to stay with it. All still tied up. And Scott out of the pack with it. Here's Carson Scott. A little chip ahead forward. Madison McLean unable to track it down. The light blue team, another break. Novak again. Off the deflection, off the far post. And finally in. For Allison Novak. Her second goal of the match. And we're tied at three. So Novak a pair. Taylor a goal on the light blue side. Carson Scott, Madison McLean, and Peyton Schof with goals for the white team. And we're tied at three with 118. Left here in the first half. Scott from his own zone. Over to Madison McLean. Scott again. Looking for McLean. Stepping in though was Jason Cook. Schof getting it back and sending it over the boards and out of play. It'll be a goal kick. And Caleb Dehaven showing some hops as well. You missed it before the game. Jerry Dupay was down there doing those same moves. Dancing all around. Off a little clear there. Ball deflected back over to Luke Fetzer. An open space to Jacob Poling. Little misplay. Opportunity here for the light blue team. A little pressure here from Ethan Doman. And cover again from Tanner Brusda. Brusda goes the length down to Caleb Dehaven. The blue team looking for another little break back. Final five seconds of the first half. Schof over to McLean. Need to hurry. And that'll do it. One half in the books from our third of three here in the 10 and 12 year old division. The white team and the light blue team tied to three here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop in to Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. This and Davis, helping the injured. In any endeavor, experience is probably the most important factor, but it's got to be the right kind of experience. Experience in the community where the case is tried, where the jurors live, where the judges work. We've been doing this since 1976 at Davis and Davis. That's a long time. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Back here at the South Union Township Rec Center, Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay here in the South Union Township Sports Network, wrapping up our third of three here in the 10 and 12 year old division. And a good one so far, much like the opening game we saw. And there's a quick goal off the kick, but not going to count. Again, you need another touch. You just can't take the shot directly from the center circle. So the match will remain at 3 3. And the free kick was taken there by Fetzer, knocked down by Scott. Off to McLean on the far side, trying to break her way in, but spun back there by Allison Novak. Up to Alexa Taylor. Schof again steps in. The ball played back up to Allison Novak, who certainly played well on the light blue side. Chipped back by Madison McLean. Out of the corner. You have Tanner Brusdo, who was in goal. Now they're on the white side. Schof trying to break out. Taylor on the near wall. Nice battle there. Carson Scott winning it off to Schof. Off a of deflection is sending it over the bar. See some nice chemistry there between Scott and Schof. Even McLean on that front line. A nice job to create so far in this match for the white team. And now Scott... Another chance to reload here for the near wall. Scott goes low, knocked down there by Taylor. Scott able to get back on his horse defensively. The light blue team though, spinning it back along, but Schof stepping in up to Scott, now Schof again. And cover made there by Ethan Doman. Quickly deflected back again over to Taylor, battling Schof. And Taylor getting around Schilf, getting around Scott, sending it forward. And Novak unable to finish. Ball's at the length of the field. Schilf there and off of a deflection, another cover from Ethan Doman. Getting played off the wall and in. Scott out in front. It's 4-3. to three. Second goal of the match for Carson Scott. The white team taking a 4-3 lead with 12-36 left here in the second half. Now time for the light blue team to try to answer back. Caleb Dehaven out there. Dehaven was in goal in the first half. 
on the light blue side. Taylor playing it off the near wall. And a free kick here on the white side from Tanner Brusda, edge of the zone. Brusda trying to go cross field far side. Off the back wall, and Dehaven trying to break back there for the light blue team. Over to Novak. Sent on the near side and played off the wall there by Luke Fetzer. Taylor will try to track it back down. And there with Madison McLean. Dehaven going down. They'll get McLean for a trip. A free kick here for the light blue team. So they're down one. 11.36 left here in the second half. Dehaven to put it down. Caleb fires. Nice little sit up down there to Fetzer. Sends it in. Luke Fetzer. His first goal of the match. We're tied at four. Dehaven a nice job to set that one up. Now let's see if the white team has an answer back. Scott sending it down the field. Over to Marcus Cooper. Scott picks it back up again. Over to Madison McLean. Dehaven in open space with some open field. And Dehaven fires off the wall out in front. Finishing it off. Allison Novak with a hat trick. Novak getting her third and a light blue team. Taking a 5-4 lead over the white team with 10.36 left here in the second half. They're going to make a goalie change here on the white side. Five minutes into the second half. Scott again sends it on. Dehaven trying to break out. Knocked down there by McLean. Eva Miller trying to chase it down. McLean getting back on it. On a little poke ahead. Knocked down by Luke Fetzer. Deflected wide here on the near side. Dehaven and Scott on the run. Scott wins the ball here on the near side. Turning there is Fetzer. Deflects into the corner. McLean there on the white side. Fetzer defending for the light blue team. Crossed out in front. Scott finds it again and puts it down. Scott tries to work around Dehaven. Takes it to the wall. Marcus Cooper battles on the light blue side. Scott again looking across. Fetzer knocks it down. Dehaven along the wall. Scott there as well. Dehaven dances out of his own zone. And here's Caleb Dehaven again coming forward. Sends it. And another great opportunity there to put it home for Allison Novak. Couldn't finish that time, but the light blue team still up 5-4. to four. Fetzer fighting back. Again, crosses out in front. And scooped down out in front. And sent ahead to McLean. Madison looking to tie it up. Save made there by Ethan Doman. Get into the corner. Peyton Schof back out there for the white team. Seven and seven. Schof goes cross field over to McLean again. Poked back out by Fetzer. Luke Fetzer. Got a free it up there with Allison Novak. And finally covered. With 8.32 to play. White team again goes length of the field. D. Haven able to get it back. In the ball, pinballing around out in front. Allison Novak battling. And Peyton Schof looked to break back on the white side off the far wall. Schof another touch. Into the corner to McLean. There's Madison sending it. Right through the crease, back over to. Stay away, Caleb. There we go. I think it's Ellie Mancini on there as well on the white side. So Mancini, check that, who played for the purple team earlier as well, out there along with Schof. So the white team getting some pretty good players added on to their squad here. Down a goal at 5-4, to four, but the light blue team playing well. Still up a goal as Novak just misses there. There's Schof again breaking back. Getting across and 
Covered up out in front. Back down on the far side again to Allison Novak. Ellie Mancini able to win it back for the white team, even though she's wearing purple. So it's like a combination squad right now for the white team, half white, half purple, as you have both Schof and Mancini in their original purple jerseys. McLean a touch, off to Schof. Taylor defending. Taylor also played in that first match. Taylor fires and scores there. That's her second of the match. Now six to four, the light blue team leading the white team. As even with some of the additions the white team has put out there, they're still down two with 6.33 to play. My blue team making a few changes. The ball healed back from Mancini to Schof. Sent back along and wheeled out of there by Jason Cook Jr. Ball though comes loose again. This time on the finish, Ellie Mancini. So Ellie Mancini getting her first of this match for the white team. It's 6-5 to five with 6.02 left here in the second half. Scott tries to send it on. The ball sent out of play. This will be a corner kick here for the light blue team. As Jacob Poling retrieves the loose ball. Down a 5.36. Now left here in the second half. And I'll set up the corner from the near wall. Dehaven to take it. Played back and deflected in by Luke Fetzer. Second goal of the match for Fetzer. It's 7-5 now. The light blue Warriors leading the white team. And the white team will try to reload again here for the final five minutes. As Scott tries to break back. A little step in there from Dehaven. Caleb sends it on goal and covered up. As we go under five minutes left here in the second half. Ball loose and poked in. Madison McLean. This one not done yet. McLean getting her second at 7 to 6. With 4.36 to play. This game pretty much mirroring the first game we brought you between the purple team and the black team, which ended up in a 7 7 draw, our middle game. Your final score, I think, a little bit closer than where that game was throughout the course of the match. Dehaven almost a goal there, just cleared out. Right on the line there by Schof. Light blue team trying to fight back. Schof again steps in. Off a of deflection, Novak fired it off of Schof. Forward to Dehaven, who breaks back, looks to cross. Stepping in, defending Eva Miller. Dehaven still there. Dehaven can't get around Miller. He sends it off to Scott and back across. Scott breaking. Over to McLean, looking to tie it up. Fires and scores. And we're tied at seven. So McLean with three. She has the hat trick. And this match tied at seven with 324. Left in regulation. Our opening youth soccer broadcast of the year here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Looking forward to many more games on the air this year. Dehaven now looking to give the light blue team the lead back. Schof defending. The ball just chipped down as we approach the three minute mark of the second half. There's McLean trying to send it down to Scott. Scott from the far side, covered out in front by Jason Cook Jr. It sends it back down the field, looking there for Dehaven. Schof defending, 2.43 to play. Schof now, get out of her own zone. Spun back by Ethan Doman, but Scott back on it. On crossfield on the near side to Madison McLean. Madison 
Takes it in the near boards. Again, looks to cross. Will touch there from Fetzer. Dehaven runs into Schof. And will free up Allison Novak. Lob back. Headed there by Dehaven. Another touch from Fetzer. Again played back. Fetzer battles McLean on the near wall. Schof again stepping in as we approach the two-minute mark of the second half. This match still tied at seven. And deflected back on goal. And Cover there again by Jason Cook. Sent down on the far side. Eva Miller looking across. Again played forward to McLean. Just misses here on the near side. A lot of hustle there for McLean. Come on, pay in there. 133 to play. Here's Scott. Check that. Dehaven getting the goal. Caleb Dehaven giving the light blue team an 8 to 7 lead. Dehaven's first. 113 to play. Not for a lot of players to come forward here for the white team. I throw them all at a light blue goal. And Jason Cook Jr. Schof being knocked down there by Dehaven. Almost deflected in the back of the white net there by Melania Daniels. The blue team still buzzing up a goal. Shot on there from Ethan Doman. Now 40 seconds left. White team needs to hurry. Going the length of the field. Looking there for McLean again scooped up. D. Haven coming forward there again. Little chip from Ethan Doman again. Cover. 25 seconds left. Here's Scott in open space. Carson Scott coming back. Looks to cross and it behind. Peyton Schof. Madison McLean trying to play it back. White team running out of time. Schof from the far side. D. Haven stepping in. Blue team could just try to tie it up in the corner. D. Haven a little header. Down to three, down to two. And that's going to do with the light blue team. Another exciting game here at the rec center. An 8-7 to seven win. Getting five goals in the second half to the white team's four. That'll wrap up our three games here today on the South Union Township Sports Network. Again in the opener. The 7-7 draw between the black team and the purple team. The green team winning game two. 6-4 to four in the light blue team. An 8-7 win over the white team in our nightcap. In our broadcast today, we're brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Fernand, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CU TV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay. This has been a South Indian Township Sports Network presentation. <laughs>